As far as force abilities go, the Shatter Point ability is perhaps one of the most unique and complex. Although used by both Jedi and Sith, Shatter Point was only available to those who had a natural, innate, and instinctive talent for it. This made the Shatter Point Force ability accessible to only a handful of practitioners over the course of galactic history, with Jedi Master Mace Windu being perhaps most known for using this phenomenon. In this video expose, I will explain the Shatter Point Force ability, describing both what it is and how powerful the ability could be. An ability known to be used since the Galactic Cold War, roughly 3,600 years before the Clone Wars, Shatter Points were a complex and elaborate force phenomenon that were perceivable solely by those force users who were born with an inherent gift for the ability. Requiring deep focus and concentration, force users who were adept at using the ability could see shatter points through the force that appeared as fault lines representing different pathways of action. In this regard, shatter points could apply in two scenarios to benefit the force user. The first was in situations and applied to events, while the second scenario involved the tangible physical world. In regard to the first scenario, wherein shatter points could be perceived relating to situations, this is much more complex than the application to the physical world. In relation to events, shatter points would show how situations and the people who were present within them fit together through the force. In this application, the fault lines that would appear through the force would represent different potential actions. This allowed the force user to see which actions would make the connections between the people and situations most vulnerable. Having perceived where the vulnerability was, the practitioner could determine which action or strike would be the most effective to break the sheer planes of the shatter point in useful ways. Many times, these shatter points existed for only the briefest of moments, but could also provide extremely powerful results through only the slightest actions taken. For example, the shatter point ability was used in this way when Mace Windu used it to determine the shatter point of Palpatine during their duel in Revenge of the Sith. Although Mace was able to determine that Palpatine's shatter point, or course of action that would leave the Sith Lord the most vulnerable, was his trust in Anakin, and thus to strike at that trust would undo the Sith Lord's plan, the dark side clouded the full extent of the vision, causing Mace to fail to understand Anakin's shatter point as well. Therefore, used to perceive the fault lines connecting people and situations, and where the vulnerabilities were between them, the Shatter Point Force ability was extremely powerful. Within the second scenario, wherein Shatter Points could be applied to the physical world, this application was much more straightforward. When applied to physical items, the Shatter Point ability worked in the same way as previously discussed but the fault lines would determine where the weak points were in the item's physical composition. Having located the areas of weakness within the physical composition, the shatter point practitioner could then use the force or their lightsaber to strike at the weak point to destroy it. In this way, the force ability would discover the physical item's literal shatter point, the point that would cause it to break into multiple fragments. This was an extremely powerful ability, as it could be used to shatter material that would otherwise be nearly indestructible, such as pure Mandalorian iron. So there we have it, what the Shatter Point Force ability is, and why it was considered to be such a powerful ally to those who possessed a natural skill to use it. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. Or perhaps follow us on Twitter, at SWReadingClub, for updates regarding the channel. Or support the channel through Patreon, for access to exclusive hangouts and book discussions. If not for me... For one day being a shatter point, but then not so much.